Hello and welcome viewers of APG News. My name is Mtoli Sinjube. You already know that. Uh, I hope you are having a wonderful Friday wherever you are. Uh, I am doing this video to address Zimbabwe exemption permit applicants uh, who are trying to move from that particular permit which is a special dispensation to any other existing mainstream South African permit that they believe they qualify for. Uh, I believe you already know the nitty gritties that are needed in the application process. You already know the requirements that you need to satisfy according to the South African Immigration Act. And you also know that most of you do not qualify uh, to move to these other permits, although uh, the minister has always been encouraging people to apply and we recently heard that there has been no plans in the South African government uh, to try and or to, to repatriate people uh, to Zimbabwe. Uh, but that's beside the point. The point that I'm trying to make here is uh, on the seemingly um, entrenched view that a ZEP Walter can therefore not pay particular interest in other issues that are being raised around Zimbabwe. I'm talking here about issues of our politics, which is the one that brought us here to South Africa. I'm talking here about issues of investment, which should be our fallback position in the case that or in the event that we find ourselves undocumented next year. So this is what I'm going to talk about. Uh, before I go ahead, may I request that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. Well, uh, the reason why I'm raising this is first and foremost uh, based on the fact that we have been told that the Zimbabwe exemption permit is, going, is not going to be renewed and the minister has been adamant that even if the courts were to rule otherwise, uh, Zimbabweans will be dealt with, not in those ways, but would be dealt with by South Africans on the ground, which is a very worrying issue, a very worrying uh, comment from a minister but at the end of the day we need to consider the anger that we are seeing in some malcontents within the south african society who believe that even against any existing statistic uh, that migrants are the main causes of social ills in south africa of economic ills in south africa so this on its own tells us that whether or not the permit is renewed or whether or not people qualify for any other permit uh, the main 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 issue here at hand is that at some point we need to focus on correcting the situation in zimbabwe because that is our country because that is where we have entitlement it is our country by birth and we therefore must do everything uh, in our power to develop not only our country but ourselves as well so uh while we continue to fight for these permits to be renewed or while we continue for everyone who was on this permit to remain documented in south africa we don't have to lose focus of who we are where we come from and what we owe that particular country and its next generations because i have realized that whenever we post something on this uh, channel about the ZEP, people flock in there, people comment there. There's nothing wrong with that because this is a critical issue. It is a matter uh, of survival. It is a bread and, and butter issue because without that particular documentation, people are going to be exploited. They are going to be uh, extorted by the police and other law enforcement agents. And they are going to be disturbed in their day-to-day -day life as they are going to be arrested or they have to run away. They are going to be uh, followed at work, taken into police vans, uh, deported. But at the end of the day, while we focus on these bread and butter issues there is also another taxing issue that we need to focus on investing back home we are not going to have this power this energy to work till we drop dead we are going to be at some point tired we are going to be very old 
sept uh, of all our energy and we need to then have a fallback position that I invested in Zimbabwe, I built a home in Zimbabwe, I started a business in Zimbabwe, I did such and such a thing that is going to make sure that I continue uh, to live and prosper even after the documentation process because even if the ZEP is going to be renewed or is going to be given another alternative name, we know that it is highly unlikely that it will be extended further than the next term. So this is why we need to pay particular attention to some investments options that are being presented to us. We have videos here of people who are doing multi-level marketing and they're making a killing out of that. We don't pay particular attention to that because we believe that as long as it is not about the ZEP, therefore we, we, we don't care about it. But at the end of the day, with or without the ZEP, we are still suffering. We are being exploited at work. We are not earning enough that uh, uh, enough to take care of our families to take care of ourselves to even do anything which means that we should work with a focus on investment with a focus on being the next employer because we would be saying that uh, we've got a, a an excuse to remain here if half of the people who were given the zep in 2010 are now employers they're now owning companies and ex employing even locals there are some who have done that, but very few of them, because most are still going to work every day. They do nine to five jobs every day, and this is even taking away from them. It's even giving this bad uh, aura around them because people believe that we're here to steal jobs. Let us focus on investments as well. And there are seminars that are being held. There was the Zimbabwe Repatriation Conference uh, in Petrut Hotel, Boxburg last week. We didn't go there. We didn't even pay particular attention to what it was all about. There has been, the Zimten has been here. They are gathering uh, a database of Zimbabweans and the particular uh, areas of interest that they want to invest in back home because they have spoken to the government and they've been told that there are vast investment opportunities back in Zimbabwe. Instead of us wanting to perennially work for other people, let us be like the Somalis, let us be like the Ethiopians, let us, let us be like Bangladeshis, let us be like even Nigerians. They are doing something that is giving back to the South African economy. They are employing South Africans. They are even contributing to the GDP of South Africa. Let us not always want to be the workers. Let us create employment and employ even the hosts. This is my clarion call. Um, there is a, a number of business opportunities. We've been interviewing uh, business people here. Let us listen to their stories. Let us get inspiration from that and then move from being the worker into being the employer. And we cannot do that if we only pay attention to things that have something to do with the Zimbabwe exemption permits. Because at the end of the day, this is just something in the short term. Even with the permit or any other permit, we will still need to uh, invest back home or even here in South Africa. But it has to be something that grows us as a people. It has to be something that grows us economically. And then there's another critical issue. There's elections coming up in Zimbabwe next year. We know that most of us are here in South Africa. In fact, almost all of us are here in South Africa because of the collapsed economy back home collapsed because we have bad political leaders taking care of our of our country and we don't seem to care about the politics whenever there are interviews about politics whenever there are engagements about politics we don't seem to care about them we ignore them just because we believe that as long as it has got nothing to do with the zep it therefore is not an important issue and this is wrong let us strive to make sure that the situation back home is corrected, to make sure that investment opportunities back home are taken up by us, to make sure that we build something of our own, something that even before anybody says 
pick up and leave they see us picking up and saying goodbye in an amicable manner not only that let us strive to make our country be the next destination destination for those uh, who are suffering an economic downturn in their own country for those who seek political asylum in their country so that we share this pattern with South Africa. They've been good to us. Let us also strive to be the next South Africa. Let us strive to make sure that our country becomes the next destination of choice for several other nations. We can only do that if we pay particular attention to any other topic which has got nothing to do with the ZEP. Thank you very much. I hope uh, I didn't upset anyone. I hope this uh, clearly uh, hits a certain uh, spot in your heart, a certain spot in your mind, and a certain spot uh, in your well-being, in your being, you. So that at the end of the day, whether the permit is renewed or it is not renewed, you end up having something to show for the days and years that you spent uh, in this country, for the energy that you spent in this country, for the time or for the experience that you gathered in this country. So thank you very much. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. But also, if there is something that you are doing, you are imparting skills to South Africans or to any other person, uh, if you are employing people, if you are doing business if you have a business venture that you want to share please contact us via the comment section underneath this video or via whatsapp 073-962-3075 and we will contact you we will showcase what you are doing and we will celebrate you thank you very much